Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with another journaling video in my little journal. So I'm just going to do a voiceover for this one, explain what I'm doing here. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was crumple up this piece of paper. Uh, it's just like brown packaging paper and I basically got this idea from an Instagram. I'll try and link it down below. It's basically, it's a very simple page on the left side. Um, where it's just like a crumpled piece of brown paper with like a dried flower stuck to it but it looks really effective well i thought it did so um that's what i'm doing here and then on the on the right side i want to make it a bit busier i'm just doing my usual kind of collaging just any which way building up some layers some book pages some music paper there i put a little bit of brown paper on there as well just to kind of even uh, balance it out a bit so yeah, that's what I'm doing here, chopping them off at the side so they've got a straight edge and using my glue stick to pop everything down. I don't really have a process for this, I just kind of arrange them so they look quite nice to the eye. Also using some post-it notes there. Um, yeah, I do I do cover up all the white space again, I'm, I'm a sucker for covering up the white space. I can't seem to leave any white space, which really annoys me sometimes. <laughs> So then I'm going in with the washi tape and just getting some rid of some of those little white spaces, adding a bit more interest in layering with the washi tape. And you can see another bit of white space being covered up. So yeah, some people can do white space so well. I just I just always feel like it looks unfinished. My my personal work when I when I leave white space. So there is my dried flower there is i went on the internet later to find out what dried flower it was it's a gypsophilia and there's just a little fern leaf there as well which i just thought it might add to it now i really couldn't decide whether i wanted it actually on that page or whether i wanted it on my collage page because i quite like the look of it on the collage page but it was getting a bit lost so i thought let's um put some vellum behind it and see if that kind of makes it pop off a bit more which it, it, it kind of did but then i decided to go back to my original idea and have it on the other page there so i'm sticking it down with washi tape which was my intention all along so i just think that looks really cute and kind of like a field guide kind of vibe which is definitely the vibe i'm kind of going for here just thought the page needed a little bit of a frame so i'm going around with a very simple doodly board it's just two squiggly lines slightly offset um there's no no real rhyme or reason to that it's just a, literally a line it looks the, the the wonky the better sometimes with those sorts of things and it just adds a nice little frame so i've stuck my flower down and then i've got this dymo label maker thing it's not actually a dymo one but that's what you call them a dymo label maker um it basically embosses a label uh, embosses like words on it uh, letters so i've done gypsophilia on there i just thought that looked really cute as well very field guidey and they are adhesive but i later do go and stick that down with double-sided tape because it comes off because the adhesive isn't that good on it and because um, it's been rolled onto the the tape has been rolled on it kind of doesn't sit flat very well so yeah now i start having a bit of an issue here now because i wanted some writing and as i've said in previous videos i don't like my handwriting every time i add my handwriting to something i feel like it's wrecked so yeah I, I wasn't quite sure what i wanted to do so i thought i'll do some writing on the vellum first and hopefully then even if i make a mistake i can just do it again it's not like i've ruined the page so i went on google and had a look for a few like nice facts about gypsophilia so it's actually baby's breath so i've just put also known as baby's breath and i just put a little bit about where they originate from i thought it'd be nice to do a little sketch as well so i'm doing a little sketch on the vellum uh, vellum's a great way to just if you've got a busy background it's a great thing to add to just settle the background a bit so your drawing doesn't just or your writing or whatever doesn't just get lost on the page so you can see i'm just doing a little sketch of it there nothing fancy just a little sketch and then i go over it with the fine liner and then i do cut that out and put that in with the writing i decided in the end not to because it just didn't look right it was still getting a bit lost despite the vellum and i just thought it's just going to look better straight on the page so yeah just cut around that 
start drawing and stick that on. I quite like the way that looks. And the way that the book pages and stuff shine through that just gives it a bit of a background and a bit of a mixed media feel, so I liked that. But yeah, the writing just wasn't working, so I do actually take the plunge and just write straight on the page. Just inking up the edges there as well, just because that helps always, gives it a little bit more depth. And yeah, so I decided to write directly onto the page in that blank spot there in the bottom left corner. Um, it turns out okay, actually. It's it, uh, it's okay. I, I still, it doesn't bother me as much as to want to cover it up. So I do leave it in the end. But I don't know, it's not perfectly straight, which really annoys me. I'm just a perfectionist for things like that. So yeah, it, it's okay. I'll live with it. Um, it looked better than with the vellum, I think. The vellum just wasn't working with the writing, so... I've saved them pieces just in case I want to put them in, in another page, but probably I'll just go ahead and write on with the... straight on again. And then it just needed something to fill that corner there that looked a bit empty, so I got out some postage stamps that I've got, found ones that matched colour-wise, and stuck them on, and it really is that simple, I mean, I love doing these journal pages because I just find them so simple, I'm always so happy with them. So yeah, that's it, and if you do try journaling like this, please do tag me on Instagram, katie underscore 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 cosmo, and I'd love to see what you create. Like and subscribe for more good stuff, bye guys!